How's it digging, Pokemon Spit? It has been a while. My name is Spade, and today I got a Pokemon Black and White 2 Wi Fi battle under you style for you guys. And uh, this was against someone by the name of uh, Geo3 Tears from the Smogon Battle Finder. And uh, I was trying out this uh, new rain team. I really wanted to make one UU manual rain team because of tornadoes dropping down there. And uh, for this match, I decided to lead with my Rotom Cut because I was looking at the potential leads. I saw Swampert to set up rocks or either his uh, Registeel. And Swampert I could destroy with Leaf Storm. And then if he leads with the uh, Registeel, I could just uh, go for the Willow Wisp and uh, get some residual damage going on. And that is in indeed what happens right here. And uh, Reg Registeel is kind of a problem to my team uh, because it can take a hit both from Kingdra and. Um, Kingdra and the Tornadoes, which are kind of my team's main sweepers, so I do want to whittle it down the best I can. But uh, he's gonna go for the T-Wave, and uh, on the next turn, as I was trying to set up the rain, I get fully paralyzed, so he's going to get up his Stealth Rocks for free. And as he does suspect that I'm going to set up the rain, because my obvious team build, uh, the one downside to uh, team preview, at least. So uh, he's just gonna go into his Tornadoes, and he actually also has Hurricane, and despite him not actually running rain, so he's gonna be able to take advantage of that, and just fire off some Hurricanes. And I do take one, and I was really hoping to go for the Vault Switch, and potentially even take him out. But I get fully paralyzed, so Rotom really didn't get a chance to do as much as it could have. But what I can do here is bring out Kingdra. The rain is set up at least, so I'm gonna go for the Hydro Pump. Modest Nature, Life Orb in the rain. Does like about 90% to the Swampert, uh, so I can easily 2 hit KO him. Just gonna go for the Dragon Pulse and uh, get a useless crit. But uh, just didn't feel like missing, and I could definitely take him out from that range, so that is what I did. And now in comes Zapdos, I kind of played this Kingdra a bit too risky, and I really should have just switched out into like my Bronzong, and then set up rocks, and then come in later with the Kingdra, but I decided to take my chances, but that is not enough. Zapdos is going to live, but... Uh, yeah, at least uh, I can uh, take him out, or he will take himself out with the... Uh, Life Orb, so it's gonna be a double down, but uh, there you can see the importance of having Stealth Rocks up. It made a difference of me uh, getting uh, another KO and living to uh, take something else out and potentially having a longer sweep. But uh, yeah, uh, now I'm gonna bring out my Ronzong. He still has a Victini and a uh, Tornadus, so I do wanna set up those uh, Stealth Rocks, and he doesn't ha even have a Spinner, so I can definitely take advantage of that. But uh, anyways, uh, just gonna randomly kind of gyro ball this uh, Registeel once because I figured the rain is going to wear out on the next turn so I can set it up once again and then just go from there. He goes for the T-Wave, I guess half predicting me to switch out, but at this point I'm just going to basically sack my Bronzong at this point. It has kind of done its job and it's not going to be doing much else. And then I'm just going to go boom on the next turn since I did get a chance and the Reason why I'm using uh, Explosion is just to get a safe switch into one of my sweepers, being either Tornadus or Kingdra. Because with Explosion, I can just set up Rain Dance and then just explode and then bring a sweeper in safely. That's the whole point of running Explosion on the uh, uh, on the Bronzong. But anyways, now I'm gonna go into my Tornadus and kind of make a stupid play and just go for the uh, Hurricane. But honestly, at this point, I just really want to whittle this thing down and I really didn't feel like going for the focus blast because it has more than often turned into a focus miss and to be honest I was kind of overestimating the power of uh, Tornadoes even though I'm running specs it's yeah it's not gonna take out a register even from that range but I do get a chance to it KO him and that is basically all that I needed and uh, he's gonna be able to go into his uh, own Tornadoes which to be honest I'm kind of thinking is specs as well I haven't seen life or recoil or anything, and he did a hell of a lot of damage to my Rotom, which is quite defensive, has max HP and really good natural special defense. But anyways, this does give me a chance to go into my Bisharp, uh, kind of force him to switch out, fearing the Sucker Punch, which is excellent, because his only option to really go into is this Umbreon, which on the other hand, I can completely wall and set up on. And he kind of randomly, I guess he misclicked or something, but he did tell me that he had nothing to hit me with, with his Umbreon, which is understandable, because Umbreons usually only carry like uh, 
payback, or I guess some of them carry uh, the uh, foul play, but this one doesn't have it. So that is going to be a perfect setup fodder for me. I can go for a sub, I can go for some SDs, he can go for the wish if he wants, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go for another SD, now I'm at basically, well I'm at plus 4 now, he's gonna get back to full health, but... Uh, uh, with plus four, I can definitely take him out. And the way he's playing his uh, tornadoes really does make me think he's, uh, uh, you know, choice specs with four attack moves, nothing else. So uh, I felt pretty safe just going for the sucker punch. And indeed, he didn't go obviously for any kind of support move as my sucker punch did connect. And now in comes Victini. They really never carry any kind of support moves either. So I'm safe to go for the sucker punch take him out as well and now the only poke that he does have left is the Umbreon so I am just going to clean that up with the Iron Head. I was really thinking about putting a Brick Break on this thing but uh, in this case at least it does work out, doesn't really make a difference. But yeah, Iron Head is going to take him out in one shot and that will be the game. So thank you for watching PMP, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, as a question of the day, uh, uh, me and my opponent here were using uh, Tornadus, but uh, besides Tornadus, uh, Mew and Virizion and Meloetta have all been dropped down to underused tier pretty recently. So uh, the question is, what are your thoughts on these uh, new underused Pokemon? At least so far they have been fitting there really well and I personally I don't think any one of them is, isn't really broken. But uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below and I thank you for watching once again and uh, yeah until next time this is the Flaming Spade signing out peace